President Biden is back in Washington tonight after making New York City's gun violence issue a top priority today. The president met with Mayor Adams and other local leaders. CBS 2's Dick Brennan live in Hell's Kitchen with details on the promises from the president today. Dick? Well, the promises all involve getting the guns off the streets. We can tell you right now that the president says that if they can get the guns off the streets, that perhaps they can make a difference in stopping a seemingly unending crime wave. President Biden is gone, but the violence rolls on. A man shot on 1st and 103rd Street. The victim taken to the hospital and should recover. People here are mixed on whether it will make a difference that the president came to New York City. He doesn't care. It's to save face, to make himself look good. That's all it is. Yeah, it's going to be a real impact because I know the mayor and I know the president, so I hope they come to a good agreement. Both Mayor Adams and President Biden did agree the crime wave has to stop. It's enough. Enough is enough. The visit comes on the day after the second funeral for hero members of the NYPD killed in the line of duty. Detectives Jason Rivera and Wilbert Mora. Mayor Adams, you and I agree. The answer is not to abandon our streets. That's not the answer. The answer is not to defund the police. It's to give you the tools, the training, the funding. Those tools include new federal initiatives, more resources to U.S. Attorney's Office to combat violent crime at the local level, and a national ghost gun program to train prosecutors on how to move against ghost guns that are assembled from kits available on the Internet. But critics say strategies can't be strictly aimed at targeting guns. If we continue to blame uh, this violence on merely just gun violence and not the cultural issue that it is and not the real, the real problem, which is the criminals, which are the criminals that are committing these violent crimes, we're never going to get anywhere. I asked the mayor if he can achieve his crime-fighting goals when even members of his own party disagree on various issues, including bail reform. I'm going to go to Albany, sit down with many of them are friends. We just disagree. And because we disagree does not mean we can find a middle ground to tweak, not take away what was in place, because my life work is fighting for reform. Now, the NYPD's John Miller says it's all about precision policing. That means focusing on the very small number of individuals who commit, apparently, so many of the shootings in this town. We're live on the West Side. Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News. Okay, Dick, thank you.